second leg then. There's your grid. Superb lineup. Remember, 250s and 125s out together this time. Nations on it at stake. 24 countries participating. Who's going to get the whole shot for the second leg of three? Watch for the gates to drop. And they're away. Who's made the whole shot into the first turn? I'm looking for it, and it's eight. Peter Johansson, the Swede on a 250 Yam, leading Alessandro Cusa, the Italian on a 250 Suzuki. So, great start there from the 250 Yamaha rider. So, eight, Peter Johansson leads. Well, of course, uh, the 125 riders already had an outing today. Five finds himself out in there. That's Monique Bouverts, a much fancied Belgian 250 Kawasaki rider. Watch for him. Oh, dear me, that track is in <laughs> somewhat difficult order by the look of it. You've got to be tough. And this man is tough. Peter Johansson, the Swede, on a 250 Yamaha, and being blasted into the weeds by two there. Damon Bradshaw, the US 250 Yamaha rider. Well, the American flag is waving on and off track. Absolutely superb stuff there from Damon Bradshaw. So, can Bradshaw keep himself nice and clean? And 11 now. Alessandra Puza is in first place. My mistake. Oh, dear, dear me. Well, Edwin Avertson. The Dutch 250 runner, that is going to cost the Dutch dearly after such a good first moto. So the Dutch struggling there. Edwin Avertsen in the sand. Pekka Verkonen, 30, leads the race. So Pekka Verkonen leads from two. That is Damon Bradshaw from number 11. That is Alexandro Puzar, the Italian 250 Suzuki runner. Well... Shock horror, the second moto looks like being absolutely hot. 30 then. Pekka Verkonen leads from Damon Bradshaw, from 11, Alessandro Puzar. Fourth is number eight, Peter Johansson. Fifth is number five, Monique Bovutz, the Kawasaki runner from Belgium. Six. I'm looking down my list to see where six is. Well, we have another fallen. <laughs> Dear me, it's all going badly wrong. No trouble for this man, though. Eleven, Alessandra Puzar. Heads eight, Peter Johansson. Becca Vaconan leads still. Damon Bradshaw second there. And gaining on Vaconan. So he's got to watch out for that. 11, Alessandro Puzar, the Italian rider, in a good third place and looking menacing. Well, the sand, as you can see, is really, really getting quite roughy across most parts of this track. Pick your point, 15 is Edwin Avertsen. He's picked himself up. He's making ground now. But the Conan still leads from Damon Bradshaw. So the Finnish rider leads the US rider. And really, Monique Bevotes. The Belgian in third place. The Belgians really having a good day out. There's no doubting that. Alexandre Puzo now back to fourth. Five Bavuts. Well, the Europeans haven't won this race for some considerable time, if my memory serves me correctly. And I know I'm going to get shot down for that because I've got a diabolical memory. But I can say that in the last 10 nations races, it's only been won by the Americans, so everybody very determined to get on pace with those. But at the moment, for Conan, the Finnish rider, doing his best for the Scandinavian end of the market. But I think it's only a matter of time before Damon Bradshaw makes his move. Bradshaw 2, tracking the Finn for Conan. 
We're going to ride in the Yamaha, as is Damon Bradshaw. Oh, and Bradshaw absolutely gets the drive. Big jump from him. Bert Vakanen's having nothing of it. Holds a tight line. That's where Stanton in the first moto just rode around the outside of two riders. And Damon Bradshaw thought better of it on this occasion anyway. Belgian flag waving there, and well it might. Well, the riders said in training that this was going to be an exciting and very tough race indeed on this kind of racetrack. Fifty-five, the back marker there is Alexandra Numov. Getting in. Oh dear me, and that was nearly a disaster there for for Conan. <laughs> well, Alexander just didn't know he was there, did he? So Damon Bradshaw still can't take advantage of that. By Monique Bavutz now making his move. He's now on the tail of the leading pair. So you've got the first three there in your picture together. And it doesn't come much better than this. Oh, Bradshaw is through. Now, I missed that completely. Bradshaw is through on Vakonen. and Brilliant stuff there from, from Bradshaw. While I look down at my lap list, Bradshaw went through on Vakonen. And in third place is Bavutz, who looks to all intents and purposes like a man most likely to take second place at any time. Certainly, Vakonen looks like he's fading under the pressure now. Could be either mental pressure from the pressure he's under from riders or physical pressure from the track. I don't know what's worse. So there's your race leader. Amber Conan's under severe pressure. Five, Monique Bavutz. Looking for that second place. And trying to maximise his points for Belgium. And getting the hurry up from the Belgian supporters on the side of the Dutch track and looks for the drive on the inside of Vakonen, but Vakonen still manages to find enough traction to hold off the Belgian. Meanwhile, at the front of the field, of course, we've got Damon Bradshaw maximising the Americans' advantage in the 250 class anyway. As goes through, Monique Bavut, the Belgian, gets the inside line. So, 15 there, that is Edwin Avertsen still recovering from his earlier crash, a disaster for, for the Dutch rider certainly would have been looking forward to taking advantage of his position at the moment. Alexandra Puzo there. Puzo going really well indeed. He's up to fourth in my reckoning on my chart here. So Puzo on the charge, the Italian. Looking to try and get as many as he can. And look at Puzo there, looking at the outside of Vakonen. Well, Vakonen certainly is, uh, he doesn't look to be slowing up physically, but certainly is being passed lap by lap. Well, I have another sneaky look at my chart. One eye on the chart, one eye on the action. 11, Puzo, 250 Suzuki rider. Oh, no mucking about there, was there? So, Puzo goes up to third place now. There is race leader, Damon Bradshaw, doing his utmost to maximise points for the US. Remember, they can drop one of their six worst scores. That's any one of the riders on the 125, 250s or 500s. It's the team at the end of the day that has the least points that wins the nation's motocross. There was number eight. That is Peter Johansson, the Swede, on a 250 Yamaha. Currently in fifth place now, so. Eight there, Johansson. 
He's right on the wheel tracks now, Vakonen. Well, Vakonen fading away. In fifth place is Johansson. Looks to me as if the early leader Vakonen is fading away. Remember, Vakonen led this race in the early few laps and certainly pulled out quite a lead, but although he doesn't look like he's tired, he's certainly succumbing to the pressure of the other nations around him. Oh, man in all sorts of trouble there. <laughs> track very rutty indeed these men have got to be very careful to stay with the bike in these conditions it's so easy to make a mistake as we saw Paul Mallin in the earlier moto while in second place he caught himself on the top of a berm found himself in all sorts of trouble and really the penalty didn't fit the crime in my view 24 going for your pickers Jochen Jasinski the German 250 Suzuki rider So, of course, every place in this race scores points. Or at least gives you a point score. The further down the field you get, the more points you get. And that's the worst place to be indeed. So, two there. Damon Bradshaw. Currently with only one point if he stays where he is, which he looks as if he's going to go. But he's coming under pressure from Bavutz, the Belgian. Well, look at that. Bavutz is right there. Bavutz looks like he is going to make a move on. Race leader, Damon Bradshaw. Well, Bradshaw better not fall asleep on this one. His pit crew there will be keeping him posted. You can see them hanging the boards over. Not that he'll need too much indication that uh, what to do. Look at the ruts in that track. Well, tough guys indeed. You can see Bavutz five there disappearing up the hill now. And he wind his Kawasaki up. Peugeot tractor. Well, you need a tractor in this. Pardon the pun on that particular one. Peugeot tractor, the Dutch 125 Suzuki rider. Again, looking for the points. Tractor at the moment. He's the third place 125 rider in this, so he'll get three points for that particular position. I'm sure he'd like it to be just one point. Damon Bradshaw, US in the highest scoring position you can be in at the moment there's no better place than number one and that gets him one point but he is coming under increasing pressure from Manik Bavutz the Belgian 250 Kawasaki rider looking for as he takes the lead over the jump so Bavutz goes through for Belgium Bavutz in a maximum position now Manik Bavutz race leader well the Belgians said they were going to have a good day out here and they've not disappointed us at all. Well, while we sort ourselves in the Volkisvard ruts, we're going to go for a short break. See you in just a few moments. Eurosport. Welcome back to Volkisvard for the closing stages of race two. And it's all action indeed. So, three there. That is Mike Kidowski. Kidowski. On the 125, looking again, some points for the US team. So far, the US are pretty well in. Pedro Tractor. We're in the closing stages then of the second moto. And at the moment, it is going all the way of the Belgians. Bavutz leads from number two, Damon Bradshaw from 11 Puza, Alessandro Puza, the Italian is in third place and they're looking with a flag now he's got the board out there's one lap to go well certainly Bavutz the Belgian well they're all being encouraged as much as you can by the pit crew there <laughs> I should think at the moment there want to get this lap over and done with as quick as they can because uh, it's a pretty tiring place to be at the moment so there's your leader five going through the picture that's Monique Bavutz for Belgium oh 15 getting in a bit of a mess there Edwin Avertsen remember he was up the road a bit earlier on or in the dirt I should say in this particular case uh, road racing routes I was getting stuck in with so there is race leader and race winner Monique Bavutz for Belgium takes a fine win from Damon Bradshaw 
on the Yamaha. There's confirmation of the second race, which was for 125s and 250s. Well, I wait for their calculation to come up on the screen because mine is always diabolical. Well, there you have it. The Belgians lead by one point at this stage. But remember, that can change dramatically in the last moto because you're allowed to drop your worst score of the six. Johnny Strybus, Belgian team manager, saying we should be quite content so far with our results. We're pleased, but there's a long way to go, and we must do more work. Well, there's a man of understatement, if the translation is correct, of course. The riders were a little nervous before the races, especially as the Belgian press have been so harsh, harsh because Georges Jobé and Mertens are not in the team. That, of course, being team selection, which is always a critical thing within each country, and you leave yourself open for all sorts of problems, of course. On the rostrum, then, with Manique Bevoots, race winner. Well, a maximum for the Belgian Bevoot says he expected Damon Bradshaw to tire and he waited to make his move then. Well, he also says it was a nice win. Stefan Averts, the first 125 bike home. Averts looks extremely tired and says the racing is very tough physically and the going is very difficult. The fittest guys will win. He hopes the Belgian team can beat the US and Dutch teams, especially the Dutch. So the grid lineup for the third and final moto. These are.